In this video, we will learn how to create and use web focus portals. The web focus portal is a flexible and interactive content management system that users can use to access and share content, customize their portal experience, collaborate, and build sophisticated structures for data storytelling. To create a portal, select a workspace a folder Click the plus content button, point to application, and then click portal. Notice that the new portal dialog box has three tabs, properties, layout options, and user menu options. Start by giving your portal a title. The name field populates automatically. Optionally, create an alias for your portal to make a short URL for sharing with others. This feature is especially useful if your portal resides inside an elaborate repository system. Select a theme for your portal from the theme drop-down list. If you have any custom themes in your repository, they will also appear in this list. Now let's configure layout options for your portal. You have a choice of three layouts side navigation, top navigation, and top and side navigation. If you decide to have the banner enabled, the banner options become available. Here you can select whether or not show the top navigation in the banner, display the title or logo. If you enable the with banner logo checkbox, additional logo options become available. You can select a custom logo for your portal and configure its tooltip and click-through URL. At any point, you can revert to the default Tipco logo by clicking the Reset to Default Logo link. Finally, go to the User Menu Options tab and decide which runtime options will be available to the users of your portal. Select the Enable Create My Pages menu checkbox if you want to enable users to create personal pages at runtime. The Enable User Menu checkbox activates the User Menu at runtime. These options are enabled by default. You can disable all or some of these options, depending on the level of access you want to grant to the users of your portal. Once you are happy with your choices, click Create. Your new portal now displays in the repository. You can populate it with folders, pages, and shortcuts that serve as links to other pages. There are three approaches when populating a web focus portal. If you have a clear vision of a portal you're creating and the content that you need to display in it, you can start by building a structure with folders and pages and create content directly inside those pages. To do so, inside the portal, click the plus button and select Create Visualizations. The Web Focus Designer opens in the content mode where you can start building your visualizations from scratch. If you have existing content in your repository and want to assemble this content into a portal, Click the plus button and then click Assemble Visualizations. Web Focus Designer opens in a page mode where you can build a page from the content that already exists. Alternatively, if you already have standalone pages in any of your workspaces and want to use them in your portal, use the shortcut feature to link those pages to your portal. Let's see how all these elements define a portal structure. For example, the home page, the retail metrics, dashboards, and marketing folders that we see here make up the initial view of the portal. At runtime, these elements appear as links or tabs and serve as the first level of navigation. If you add subfolders inside any of these folders, 
The subfolders will appear as links in the sidebar at runtime. You can click them to display pages inside the subfolders. This simple folder hierarchy provides a convenient way to organize your content. Finally, let's create a personal page. Go to My Pages, click the plus icon, and choose a layout. The page displays a number of empty panels with the Add Content buttons that you can use to populate it. If your content has parameters, the filter icon appears in the toolbar. You can click it to make filter selections. You can also bookmark your content and filter configurations by clicking the bookmark icon. To share your personal page, click the share icon and select users or groups in the share with dialog box. Both the page heading and page title can be edited. You can choose the page heading to be longer and more descriptive. You can delete your personal page at any time by clicking the delete icon. To learn more, search for Tipco Web Focus at docs.tipco.com.